Okay, Happy New Year's everybody. It's December 31st, 2013. 13's my lucky number. I bought this on the 13th day from a man who was born the 13th. So lucky all around, lucky year. This is my 1938 original paint knucklehead. I'm still investigating the machine. All these machines have history. What I suspect so far is that at one point in time, the uh, gas tanks were either not there or destroyed, or it's possible it had a UL motor at one time. Um, I have no proof, neither does anybody else without a DSL photo or original bill of sale, that their motor or this motor actually came with their specific frame. And that's of course you have frame numbers on a 70 and later bike, then you obviously know, but nobody else knows. We assume. Uh, I do not know for sure where this motor came with this bike. What we have is number 2604, uh, which is the 1604th bike made in 38 as far as the motor numbers are concerned, on a late 38 chassis, um, or what we would assume would be a late 38 chassis. Now what that means is there's two frames in 38. This frame here, everybody assumes, there's the neck there, and we're going to come over to this side and take a look at the casting number here at this frame here was not made until late 1938 now if this motor did indeed come out with this frame which again we have no proof other than the fact it's sitting in the frame then uh, the late 38 frame and fork was made a lot earlier than people suspect but Harley notoriously changed this and changed that and didn't go by any Palmer's book when they put stuff on. What makes this a late fork is, first off, 38 forks have this bow here, which a good friend of mine, Wayne, reminded me of. I'm like, huh? And I forgot. But anyhow, uh, it is there. It is a correct 38 fork. And the little zert here where my finger is, you can see the zert right there. It's on the outside. Early 38 and prior had it on the inside back of the headlight. So the fork, the fenders, the oil tank, all are definitely original paint. Now here's the question. Why do we have nicer paint on the tank? I have pulled the dash cover. I haven't pulled the tanks. There are original paint. It's obviously nice parkerized inside the gas can. Uh, tanks themselves which uh, ages and gets rusty. This is a nice park rising inside the tanks. Um, the uh, primer was being changed in the late 30s. We have a little chip right here in the paint which I don't know if this uh, little video camera on the phone is good enough to pick it up or not. Well that's brown primer under the fenders and when I pulled the dash what I found was brown primer which you can kind of see the edge of it here where there was chips on the dash it's got obvious scratch marks on the tank but they're on top of the paint not underneath the paint and there's no scratch marks as of that I found yet having pulled the dash on the bike so at this point in time I'm assuming that uh, all indications are that these are original paint tanks that got mounted on this frame at one time. Now all this stuff was coming out, it was very common and easy to find in the late 70s to early 90s. Uh, in the early 90s I was building a knucklehead every three months out of parts at a swap meet. On the cheap. On the stupid cheap. Done bikes. Six, seven grand. Out of parts. So I was there, I did it, I know how easy it was. And the man that uh, sold this to my friend who I got it from, I heard of this bike and I know he had it for at least 10 to 20 years. So he got it running back when all this stuff was very, very easy to obtain. So that doesn't mean he got this motor with this chassis. And it does not mean that it actually had a knucklehead when he got it. It's a knucklehead now and they're all built in parts back in the day. 
And anybody assumes, oh, that's my motor, I came with that chassis. Well, guess what? If you ain't got DSL photos, you ain't got a bill of sale, you do not know. Nobody knows, everybody assumes. But those are decals, I put them under a high magnification, that is original paint everywhere. And until I actually pull the tanks, which I'm going to do after I fire this bike up in a minute, um, then I won't know for certain. Once I get the tanks off in my hand, I will know for certain, yes, indeed, these were new old stock gas tanks. Uh, so that is the indication so far on this bike. So we're going to fire it up. Ready for you! I'm, I'm having to video this with a cell phone because once again my $3,300 Best Buy camera broke after less than a month use so um, we're having more camera issues now uh, one other thing was mentioned these are actually alligator skin bags that's correct 38 and if we can get the photo here you can see the riding on the back of the rear seat on the leather is that freaking cool or what? So, uh, <clears throat> here you go. Uh, I haven't tried to start, start it. I just put a battery in it. And I haven't tried to start it yet. So I'm going to capture this on video. Got the gas on. Give it our normal prime. <laughs> what a great Christmas present. What a great Christmas. <laughs> what a great bike. Now this gas was on all the way across country. It was on. I never touched it. Never turned it on or half. This tank's almost full and it didn't leak a drop. Wow. 
So the left tank is bone dry, so I'm assuming it's got a petcock problem. These petcocks are notoriously difficult to fix. So we'll get to the bottom of it. Uh, we've got a working, uh, there's a generator, uh, let me think, what are, how do they have these? There's a generator and oil, so it's oil lights on, generator doesn't go on until you're not charging. Uh, we have working lights here, one bulb is bad, horn's working, this is working, and my tail light's not working. So, I was assured they all worked when I got it, but uh, we didn't have a battery, but it just beat itself 3,000 miles across country in a big truck. Things break, so, but that said, it just beat itself 3,000 miles across country in a huge truck. And uh, you just heard it run and fire. I, d I didn't touch it besides. I all I did was make sure I had oil. Oh yeah, I got gas, a couple of primes, and ding, ding, perfect. You, you can't get it ask for any more than that. So original paint, 38 knucklehead. I will pull the tanks and make another video and ascertain whether or not whether we and do indeed have dual stock tanks that were mounted on this bike. I suspect. I, until I have them off in my hand, I can't say yes, that's what it is. But I suspect, I'm 99% certain that's what they are. So anyhow guys, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, we'll see you on the next video. Hope I made your day, it made mine. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm.